Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to my channel. This is where I share my experiences using cruelty-free skincare and makeup on mature skin. Today, I want to tell you about everything I bought in October. Some of these are replacements for old favorites. Some are new instant favorites. Some are first impressions. And one is a fail. I want to talk about the fail first and get that over with. I don't like talking about fails. I'd rather spend my time telling you about the things I love. But I know I need to share all of my experiences with you. And we all have fails, things that didn't work for us, weren't quite what we thought they were. I still don't like to talk about them though, so let's get this one out of the way. This is a Milani lipstick in the color Bronze Beauty. I've been wearing a lot of copper eye looks this fall. It's just really been a vibe I've been into. And I was looking for a lipstick that would really complement those copper eye looks. I had some lipsticks that I could wear with those looks, but I was looking for something with maybe just a little bit of a copper vibe to it. I had a lipstick years ago before I went cruelty free from Maybelline that was kind of more of a warm brown with just a, a nice copper tone to it. And I love that lipstick, but it went bad and I couldn't replace it because Maybelline is not cruelty free. So I was looking for something from a cruelty free brand that maybe had that kind of a color to it. I saw this one and I think my biggest drawback with drugstore makeup is rarely is there a tester so you can't swatch it you can't feel it you can't see how the texture is you can't see how the color looks on your skin tone if it's clear packaging at least you can see the color but a lot of times you can't even do that you're just kind of taking a chance and that was the case with this one you can't see the color through the packaging. It does have this indicator that's supposed to tell you what color it is on the inside, but I've found that these usually do not come close to the color of the actual product. But it's um, kind of the look, kind of the color I was going for, so I thought, well, I'll give it a chance and see if maybe this does work for what I'm looking for. It doesn't. I don't know who this color was made for, but it is just really not bronzy, not coppery, just a kind of a weird, ugly orange with a lot of gold glitter in it. It's just, I don't think that would be flattering on anybody. When you get it on the lips, it's even worse. It's just like patchy, glittery, gold spots on a weird orange color. It's just... I've heard good things about Milani lipsticks. This is the first one I ever bought. This is, I'm not gonna hold it against Milani lipsticks based on this one. I think this may just be one odd, weird color and formula. I don't think I would be hearing positive reviews if they all felt like that, that's for sure. So I, I, I wouldn't hesitate to buy another Milani lipstick if I heard people talking nice, you know, giving it nice reviews and then seeing people swatch it and wear it and seeing that it was a pretty color. But this one, this one is an epic fail. So let's move on to the good stuff. I bought a replacement of my Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. I talk about this a lot on my channel. This is my Holy Grail Body Lotion. I love it. I got this one at the beginning of the month. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. And I just, I don't mind. It's $5 for this big tub. You'll always see this in my empties and my purchases videos because I go through this like crazy. But it's just wonderful. It's, it's got this rich, creamy texture. It smells amazing. It's not at all greasy. It sinks right in and leaves a nice glow on your skin. I just love it. Then I bought something that's new to me. This is from Timeless. This is their 20% vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid. When I started on my skincare journey in 2018, that summer I started thinking about vitamin C serums that I wanted to try. I did some research, I got some samples. And I settled on two that I wanted to try. I wanted to try May Love the Glow Maker and this, the Timeless. 
I don't remember why, but for some reason I got the May Love first and I loved it. It smoothed out my skin, it went on nicely, it seemed to be helping to fade those um, discolorations I have from sun damage. I just gave me a nice glow. I loved it. And something I've learned about myself is I tend to be brand loyal to a fault. I talked about in my very first video, my skincare journey, about using the same skincare products for years and years. Products that had worked for me when I started using them, but I had gotten complacent and I just kept using the same products and not checking to see if they were still working on my skin. And then one day I looked in the mirror and my skin looked terrible and I realized those products had not worked for me for a long time. So now that I know that about myself, I check in regularly on my skincare products. I make sure everything is still doing what it's supposed to be doing. And if I hear that there's a product I'm using that other people like, but that there's another product they like even more, I wanna try it. And that's what happened here. I heard several people I really respect on YouTube talking about May Love, the Glow Maker, and that they did like it, but that they preferred the Timeless. So this past month, when I ran out of my May Love, I ordered the Timeless Vitamin C Serum. And so far, I do prefer it. It surprised me because it's thicker. It's almost like a lotion and it's really creamy. So it just glides across the skin and it sinks in so nicely. The May Love is more of a watery formula and just a little harder to apply and to get to sink into your skin. This one just goes on so beautifully. I just, I just love it. It is 20% vitamin C and the May Love is 15%. And this one so far hadn't had any trouble with the increase in the concentration. I think it's because I used the May Love for a year and a half, so my skin is used to vitamin C. I'm gonna continue to use this one. I only have used a small amount of the bottle. I'm about down right to here on the bottle. So I'm gonna to continue to use this, and when it's almost done, I'll decide at that time whether I really do prefer it or not. But first impressions, love it. I've talked on here about my Jordan Samuel Skin Hydrate Facial Serum that's been on, it's been out of stock now for several months. Jordan reformulated all of his products to enter the European market, and the Hydrate Facial Serum while it was being reformulated, has been out of stock for quite a while. While it was out of stock, I tried several other hyaluronic acid serums to fill in its spot. I used the one from the Inky list, and it was okay. And then I got a deluxe sample from Sephora of the Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which was a very nice formula and worked really well, but I would not purchase it because a one ounce bottle of that one cost $300 which I think is ridiculous for a hyaluronic acid serum when you can find so many nice ones. And then I ordered this one from The Ordinary in October. It's The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. But before I even received this one, I heard that Hydrate Facial Serum was back in stock. So I instantly ordered it and then when this one came in, I gave it to my husband to use. He hasn't started using it yet. He's um, working through some other skincare products and he doesn't like to use a whole lot of different serums at a time. But I'll let you know what he thinks of this one from The Ordinary when he does use it. And in the meantime, let me tell you about this one. Jordan Samuel Hydrate Facial Serum. When Jordan first started reformulating his products, I was worried. I loved all of the skincare products I was using and I didn't want him to change them. But what I've found out as I've gotten more of the products that have been reformulated is that the changes are minor and the changes that have been made are improvements, mostly in consistency and things like that. Um, the effectiveness is just the same. And that's how it is with this product. Let me read a little bit about it for you. It still has hyaluronic acid, of course, aloe, glycerin, cucumber, tamarind, and a stabilized vitamin C. All those great products that made me love it in the first place. What it has now that it didn't have before is sodium hyaluronate. And what that is, it works like other 
hyaluronic acids in that it pulls the water into your skin and plumps up your skin and and gives that humectant effect to your skin but the sodium hyaluronate is made with a smaller molecule it has a smaller molecule so it sinks in much more effectively gets into your skin so that it can do that plump, that plumping much more effectively and, and i think that's a great thing so i'm so happy to have this back i'm so happy with the reformulation and i just love it then i bought two of the bite beauty amuse bush lipsticks i've got this one in the color let's see here this one's in the color maple and it is a brick red i think this is a beautiful color this one can be a little dark and a little bright on me, but if I sheer it out, it's just a gorgeous color and I love it. Then the other color I got was the one I'm wearing today. This is the color Verbena. This is a rose terracotta. And this one is much closer to my lip color. It's kind of like a nude on me, my lips, but better. I just think it's a gorgeous color. Love both of these. I think the Bite Beauty formula is gorgeous it's so creamy and it's just so pigmented and it's comfortable on the lips and it lasts a good long time for a bullet lipstick i just love these i'm so happy to have them bite beauty is one of my favorite lip brands i use their um lip mask at night i use the multi stick as a lip i mean as a cheek product and i just so happy to have these two lipsticks from the brand it's a clean brand and I'm just really happy to support them and I, I like what they're doing with their products and I love their lipsticks. Next, I got this, um, it was a bonus offer from Sephora. It's the Kate Somerville Biomimicking Peptide Serum. This one's made with five peptides and I love using a peptide serum. I feel like it really does make a difference in those fine lines on your skin. I use it more as a spot treatment. I've been using the one from um, The Ordinary, the Matrixel 10% plus hyaluronic acid, and I really enjoy it, and I do feel like it's made a difference in, in those lines around around my mouth and my eyes and, on, and even on my neck. I feel like it's been making a little bit of difference. That's a real problem area for me, but I do think it's helping. This one, I, I feel like it's probably doing the same thing and it does have a little nicer consistency. But when I run out of this bonus size here, I won't be purchasing this because this one is $98 for the full size and my one from The Ordinary is $11.50. I wouldn't mind trying maybe another peptide serum from a different brand that was not quite as pricey as this. If you have any recommendations of one that you like, please tell me down below. But for now, um, I do feel like the one from The Ordinary is making a difference in my skin, so I'm gonna keep on using that one. Then I bought three bath soaps from Trader Joe's. This one is one I've talked about before, and I'm just showing you the wrapper because this one is currently in my shower. This is sold by Trader Joe's, but it's made by a French brand. I'll put the name down below. This is the Lemon Verbena Triple, triple Milled Soap. And then this is from the same brand, and this is the Lavender Scent of the Triple Milled Soap. I've talked about both of these, and I love both of these soaps. And then this third one I got is from Trader Joe's Oatmeal Exfoliant Bar Almond Ginger Scent. All three of these smell so good. They all work great. The price is fantastic. They're like 2 or $3 per bar, but the quality, they seem like a much more expensive luxury bar. I just love all of them. And the next thing I got in October was a Milani Baked Blush. I've talked on here before about Luminoso being my favorite blush, and it still is. It's like a peachy, golden-toned blush. I just love it. I wore it all spring and summer, and I still wear it on occasion, but I wanted something a little deeper, a little richer color, maybe not quite so peachy gold. So I got this one, the Milani Baked Blush in Rose Oro. And I wanna give a little shout out to walmart.com 
on this purchase. I ordered this from Walmart online. And when it came in, it had like the little plastic wrap around the rim, you know, on the edges here. And I peeled that off. And then when I opened the lid, the centerpiece fell out. This is, there's nothing there. This is the centerpiece. And it looks like it was never properly attached. So I, I thought it was okay probably to use because it had that seal around the outside, but I didn't know how it might affect the product. And I didn't really look forward to having to glue together the package myself. And I wasn't sure, just wasn't sure how it was gonna work. So I contacted Walmart to return. And I know that it's pretty easy to return things that you order online from Walmart. So I contacted them. And I guess it's probably because of the price of this. It was only like six or seven dollars. Um, they said, we'll just keep it and we'll just send you a new one. And that's what they did. So now I've got two of these. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep both of them or if I'm gonna maybe try to repair this and pass it on to someone or, or what I'm gonna do yet, I'm not sure. But I thought that was really nice that they just, instead of having me having to send something back that wasn't very expensive, that probably would have cost them more to have it sent back, they just sent me a new one. It's in the color Rose Oro, which means rose gold. And it is exactly what I was looking for. It's such a pretty kind of a rose gold color, just like the name says. I've got it on today and I love it. I have a feeling I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot all fall and winter. And maybe I'll probably just alternate it with my Luminoso and I'm pretty much set for blushes. I've got every, both the colors that I just really love. Then, later in the month, because I had used so much of my Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter, I got another replacement. And when I went to buy this one, I saw this one. This um, I know that sometimes Trader Joe's has limited edition body butters in different scents. This one, I don't know that it's a limited edition or maybe it's just one that my store doesn't usually carry and they have it this time, but it's the Trader Joe's Warm Vanilla Body Butter. And I was hesitant to try this because I love my coconut body butter so much, but my husband said if I didn't like it, he would use it. He has very dry skin, so he's always going through lotions. And I decided to go ahead, even though I'm still using this one, I decided to go ahead and open this one just to, so I could give you a kind of a first impression of it. And my first impression is the scent is much lighter. It's not a very strong vanilla scent. It doesn't have as much scent to it as the coconut. If you're someone who wears perfume, you probably would prefer this vanilla one. I don't usually wear perfume, so I don't mind that my coconut body butter has a, a stronger scent. I love the smell of it. This one has a nice scent. It's just very subtle. And then the consistency of it is also different, which kind of surprised me because they both... They have a lot of the same um, ingredients. They both are made with coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. But this vanilla one is seems a little lighter. I'm kind of whipped. It, go, it goes on the skin a lot lighter. The, it's not nearly as thick as the coconut form. Still gives a lot of moisture. I still like it. First impression, I think I still prefer my coconut body butter, but I am going to use this one. I do like it. And when I when that one shows up in my empties, I'll let you know how it measured up to my coconut body butter. Then the last thing I got is something I'm really excited about. This is something I've been wanting to get for a long time. Did a lot of reading and research and trying to figure out which one I wanted to get, and I finally got them. It is my reusable cotton rounds. Got these from Amazon. If you go to Amazon, they are there's so many different kinds and um, brands and yeah, just it's the selection is amazing. I chose these. These are microfiber cotton rounds. One side is black so that you can use it to remove your makeup and it doesn't stain, which I think is fantastic. And then the other side you can use for toner if you want. If you prefer a thinner cotton round, you're not gonna like these. I wanted these thicker ones. These are almost like a, a washcloth cotton round. I wanted something thicker because I don't like using those thinner ones to take off my makeup. And that's what I mostly use these for. All of my skincare products, including my toners, I put on with my fingers. But I do have this side if I ever want to use something to smear out um, my um, skincare products. So far, I'm absolutely loving these. 
I got two bags. There was 14 in each bag. They come in these little mesh laundry bags so that you can wash them. And I've got this one. This has got some dirty ones in it that I'm saving to wash. And then this is my um, refills. I've put them in a, a jar here on my vanity so that they're easily accessible. And I love them. And I'm very happy with this brand that I bought from. Let me tell you a little bit about them. This is the brand Green Estate. It's a small family-run business in Arizona. Um, the cotton rounds came in these recycled, recyclable boxes. And then inside was a little card. It says, high five, you just planted a tree. It says, dear friend, for every Green Estate product sold, we are planting a tree through our Buy One, Plant One partnership with Eden Risk Forestation Projects which that thrills me because I bought two boxes, so I planted two trees. I love um, the aesthetic of this brand. I love that it's a small family business, and I love the product. If you're not using reusable cotton rounds and you have an interest, please go on Amazon and look around. They have some really thin bamboo ones if that's what you want, but if you're looking for a thicker one, I highly recommend these. That's it. That's everything I bought in the month of October. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Just hit that subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell next to that so that you'll know when I post new videos. Bye for now.